you guys, let's take a few minutes today and talk about one of my favorite tools that I use in quilting. This is diagonal seam tape. It's by Cluck Cluck Sew. It's a washi tape that you take and you stick onto your machine table, either onto your machine or onto your table, whatever your setup is. Um, what diagonal seam tape is, is a washi tape that allows you to skip a step in traditional piecing, I guess you'd say. So in traditional piecing, um, if you're doing, say, flying geese, half square triangles, a square and a square, any of those blocks, you're going to have to draw a line corner to corner and then either sew on this line or sew a quarter inch off this line. So what this diagonal seam type does is help you skip that step. And if you've done one before, you know that if you're doing a quilt with lots of half square triangles in it, this takes a lot, a lot of time drawing those diagonal lines. So the diagonal seam tape comes in and saves you a ton of time. And I don't know about you, but this is like the worst part of making a quilt. So let me show you how this works. So diagonal seam tape has a red line in the middle, black lines on each side. The black lines on each side are marking your quarter inch. So you need to make sure on your machine where your quarter inch is. Every machine's a little bit different. I'm sewing on a Bernina 335 and I know that my quarter inch is, if you can see that I have a teeny line here and one on here. So that's measuring quarter inch off of the center of my machine, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this diagonal seam tape. The end isn't super sticky, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut a nice straight line. So I have a nice sticky spot to start off with. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the left black line with this left mark here and the right black line with this little mark right here and the red line is gonna line up right with the middle of my foot which is right where my needle would go down, right? So how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to line that black line up on both sides. Now you see how that lines up. I leave it off of my um, plate here in case I need to take this off for cleaning or if something gets stuck then I don't have to remove my diagonal seam tape. So the next part I do is I take, this is a five and a half inch square, and I'm just gonna hold it here, and I'm gonna line it up, make sure that the point of my ruler, or the tip over here, the corner, is lining up with that edge of the tape, and down here, it's lining up with the edge of my table. You can't see that right now, but it is lined up. And then I just make sure that I'm holding it here and I just lay it down so it's nice, nice and straight. Kind of press it down and then uh, just clip the end off on the other side like that. And I'm good to go. Now one other step that I'm gonna do, just because my machine moves up and down, yours might as well. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna break that tape right there. And I'm gonna come down here where my board ends and I'm gonna break it there. So that's gonna allow me to keep the tape on my machine and uh, move my machine up and down. So there you go, you can see the seam there where it's ripped there. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how this works. There's a few different ways to use it. Let's start off with um, sewing a corner to corner, okay? When you are starting a half square triangle like this and you're wanting to start on that corner, I like to take an extra piece of scrap fabric and start sewing on here. If I don't and I try to just start sewing on this tiny corner, <laughs> what always happens to me is it comes in here and it falls down where my needle's poking down and it will just get stuck and it ruins the whole corner of my square. So to, to avoid that, I take a scrap, it's a leader, and I just sew on that really quick, just a couple stitches. 
And then I can go ahead and start sewing on my half square triangle. So how this works is I'm going to take this corner and it's going to line up right with my needle. So right here, and I like to take two stitches. Then I can focus on this corner down here. So we are sewing exactly corner to corner. So I'm going to focus right here and I'm going to make sure that this point stays right on that red line. I'm not worried about the needle and what it's doing up here. I'm just going to look down here. So as I sew along, I'm making sure that that corner stays right on that red line all the way down. You see that? So what happens we can cut off that leader. You see that? It's perfectly straight, corner to corner. Then I can go ahead and normally I'd use a rotary, but we're just gonna use scissors really quick. I'm gonna cut off a quarter inch off of that edge. And as you can see, that's gonna give you that perfect half square triangle. Isn't that cool? Okay, so another way that I like to use my diagonal seam tape is if I'm doing, um, you can do two half square triangles at the same time. Now how this is gonna work is instead of lining this corner up right with my needle, I'm gonna line that corner up with this outside edge of my foot here. So it's gonna go right here. Okay, I'm gonna take two stitches. Now I didn't have to use that leader because I wasn't starting on the exact corner. You can if you still like, but I find that there's really no need for it. So I did two stitches just to hold it. Now I can focus down here. Now you can see this time that my corner is going to be lined up with this outside black quarter inch line. Okay, because I'm starting on the edge of my foot here. So I'm starting here. We're going to come down and focus this corner on the left, because we're on the left side of our foot, on the left black quarter inch line. So I'm gonna sew down. See, and I'm still, I'm watching that corner. And then instead of clipping my thread, I'm just gonna turn this around, line it up again with that, the corner on the edge of my foot. And I'm coming down here, I'm gonna take, couple stitches and I'm watching this corner on the left black line. Okay, so just for time, I'm just gonna take this. Now, normally you'd cut right on the line. So if you use a rotary, you can just measure in a quarter inch and snip it there, but we're just gonna eyeball it like that. And then you've got your quarter inch here and your quarter inch here. And then what I would do is I would use my block lock two and a half inch square, my rotating mat, and I would uh, trim these up after they're all ironed. It's so quick. Okay, so that's two half square triangles at a time. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how I use it for making flying geese. All right, so how this is going to work is I'm going to take, I have a two and a half by four and a half inch piece and a two and a half inch square. And I'm going to line that up on the left side of my piece. And instead of using a leader and starting here on this corner, I'm going to start over here where it's not going to get caught. So I'm going to like before, and we're saying corner to corner, so we're following this red line for corner to corner. I'm gonna take two stitches, come down here, and I'm watching this point down here, right? So I'm following that point all the way down. Okay, so it's, let's clip those off. Corner to corner. Now I would trim this side off. I would trim a quarter inch there. And then you're gonna press this up. So that's half of the uh, flying geese block. So we're gonna press that and it's gonna look like this. 
Then I'm gonna take my second two and a half inch square and we're gonna line it up on the right side of that block, right like that. And I'm gonna sew from this corner all the way down to this corner and we're following the red line. So I'm gonna go here, go two stitches and we're lining it up down here. Okay, now the cool part about this tape is you could do chain piecing. Chain piecing is where you just take one piece, one block, sew it, and instead of clipping my thread, I take my next piece and I still line it up right here, following that red line, and sew it again. So it saves on thread, saves on time, and then you just go back, clip these apart, clip your tail there, and then you trim these just like we trimmed that one, right? So then we're gonna trim it, iron it, and it's gonna turn out looking like this. So here's where I'd like to take my, um, my flying geese block lock and trim this up as well. If not, you can just use your regular ruler and the middle of my block is gonna measure two and a quarter inches and I'm gonna use this 45 degree angle right like that and then you would trim it up if you have anything that's not quite lining up. So it's pretty slick, huh? Look how straight that line is. Right straight with that 45 degree angle. It's perfect. So I hope this helps. We have diagonal seam tape in the shop. It is a really great tool to have by your sewing machine. I have a couple <laughs> rolls around here. I really use it all of the time. It's a really great um, tool. So I will put a link in the comments um, and if you don't have any, really try it. It's so fantastic. I hope this video helps, helps you be successful with getting those um, seams perfect on the diagonal. Have a great day.